The pop-up. I've broken the pop-up into four different styles. The prone pop-up, the knee paddle pop-up, the no paddle pop-up, and the knee paddle no-handed pop-up. These tips are made to help you gain consistency with your takeoffs, resulting in more waves caught. The pop-up is broken down into five steps. I'm going to show you these five steps, then break them down individually. This is the only time I'm going to show you the wrong way. Most surf schools and videos teach the pop-up like this. The reason this is wrong is when you're up, your stance is in the middle of the board, which pushes water and gives you little to no control. As you get better, this type of pop-up hinders your ability to take off late and successfully make the drop. This is why I'm going to teach you the correct way. Step one, same as your paddle, make sure you're balanced on your board so your toe is firmly positioned on the deck. Step two, hold your hands below your rib cage just above your waist. Step three, pop with your hips and slide your front foot under your chest. Step four, with both feet firmly planted under your body, release your hands from the rails and stand up and remember to keep your knees bent. Step five, lean slightly on your front foot until you feel the wave has got you. Okay, let's break down each step. Step one, same as your paddle. Make sure you're balanced on your board so your toe is firmly positioned on the deck. The reason why you do this is so when the wave gets steeper, your back foot can keep pressure on the tail lifting the nose. This keeps you from purling. This is one of the most important things to learn when riding longboards. Once a sweet spot is found on your pop-ups, you'll become more consistent and you'll catch more waves. Step two, hold your hands below your rib cage, just above your waist. This allows for the most stability when you are taking off. It's a good idea to look where you wanna go so that you can steer yourself into the right spot on the wave. Steering the board is done by balancing yourself with your back foot pressing on the deck while leaning to the left or right using your arms. Lean left, go left, lean right to go right. Step three, pop with your hips and slide your front foot under your chest. The popping motion allows you to get your butt high enough in the air to allow room for your front foot to slide under you. Step four, when both feet are firmly planted under your body, release your hands from the rails and stand up. Remember to keep your knees bent. The main reason why people fall on late takeoffs is due to letting go of the rail too soon. Make sure you're balanced and comfortable before letting go of the rail. Remember to be patient. Step five, lean slightly on your front foot until you feel the wave has got you. Once you feel it has you, adjust your weight to the back foot. If you adjust back too soon, the board will stall and you'll die out of the wave. Too late and you'll pearl. The timing comes with repetition. You will catch more waves when you lean on the front foot. I recommend weighting your front foot until you catch every wave confidently, then start adjusting your weight back. You'll need this timing when you start progressing through the videos. The next step is the knee paddle takeoff. 